Hi everyone, my name is Andy Pavia. I'm one of the co-founders of Toybox, the 3D printer for kids. And we've been getting a couple of questions on our Indiegogo campaign regarding how you can import your own custom model. So what I want to do today is basically run through the exercise of uh, modifying this emoji ring. Then we're going to import it into the Toybox platform and print it. So why don't we get started. This is SketchUp. It's a CADing system made by Google. It's fairly powerful and it's free, which is awesome. So what we're going to be doing is basically giving the tongue of the emoji ring a little bit of height. As you can see right here, it's flat. So why don't we grab the pulling tool. We're going to give it a little bit of height, as you can see there. Let's rotate to make sure that looks correct. Yeah, that looks great. You can see that the height of the face, the height of the back of the mouth, and the tongue, they're all different. So we're going to export this as an SDL file. Now, SDLs are very standard in the industry. Most CADing systems out there like um, AutoCAD or Inventor, uh, they can all generate those files. We're going to save the emoji STL file on my desktop. Let's save it. And now let's go to the Toybox website. Now, this is the creator space. Uh, over here, we have a, a couple of different apps that you can use to modify or create your own toys. So we're going to hit import. Then we're going to select the emoji STL file. And there you go. So you have it right here. Uh, this is a virtual print bed. We can actually move the file around. We can scale it if we want to. We can rotate it, which is super cool. We, we can also change the point of view. And what's really, really cool about Toybox is that we really put a lot of effort to make sure that 3D printing is easy to use and accessible for everyone. So we take out all the technicalities of like slicing and understanding calibration and all those details that uh, are really, you know, you don't really need to know to 3D print. So let's hit create. And what the system is doing right here, it's basically grabbing the 3D model and it's slicing it up. It's making it into small layers that the 3D printer can actually print. And now that it's sliced up, I can actually just hit print. And what this is going to do is basically going to tell my printer that is in the other room to start printing this toy. Uh, so we're going to give it a couple of seconds and we're going to move to the next camera so you can see it printing. guys this is the finalized ring as you can see the tongue is right there you can see it clearly uh, and that's it so if you guys have any questions any feedback please feel free to reach out to me uh, on Twitter uh, my handle is Andy Pavia a lowercase and I'll be happy to chat with you guys have a great day